Hello, my name is Muhammad Ali. I am pharmacist by profession. I have nearly 40 years of experience working in the pharmaceutical industry. I work for big names like Johnson & Johnson and Novartis. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to compare the efficacy of newly developed drug versus the marketed drug. And for that purpose, I will be using RStudio. What is t-test? One of the most fundamental and important tests in statistics is the t-test. It is used to determine whether the mean of two groups are equal to each other or not. It comprises of two hypotheses, null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that the two means are equal and alternate hypothesis is that they are not equal. It is either less or greater. What is the purpose of the t-test? One single purpose of t-test is that it looks for the significant difference between the two set of data. That's all what it does. When we write conclusion, it eliminates all the biases and tells us whether the data is significantly different or not. What is null hypothesis? Null hypothesis is that the two means are equal no difference between the groups with respect to the means. So, for, for null hypothesis, mu1 is equal to mu2 or, 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 or there is no difference between mu1 and mu2. What is the an alternate hy hypothesis? An alternate hypothesis, two means are not equal. That is, mu1 is not equal to mu2 or, 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 or mu1 is less than mu2 or mu1 is more than mu2. What is the critical value? In advanced sciences, we want to be objective. We want to eliminate biases. No more reliance on sample mean. We need critical value which eliminates all the biases. That is what t-test does. It eliminates all the biases. t-test gives us a critical value which is called p-value. Now what is p-value? A p-value is used in hypothesis testing to help you to support or reject the null hypothesis. The p-value is the evidence against the null hypothesis. The smaller the p-value, the stronger the evidence that you should reject the null hypothesis. Now just to remember the p-value, uh, there is a phrase for that also. If p-value is high, the null hypothesis fly, which means that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. If p-value is low, the null hypothesis go, which means we reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternate hypothesis. p-value 0.05 tells us that there is 5% probability that we are rejecting the null hypothesis while in reality it is true. And we both a one tail and two tail test. Uh, a two-tail test allows you to determine if two means are different from one another. A direction does not have to be specific prior to testing. While in one-tail test, uh, you determine if one mean is greater or less than other mean. The direction must be chosen prior to testing. Let me explain you uh, by the example of the hypothesis. Let's say we, 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 we have a hypothesis like this. Is there a significant difference between the age of man and woman? This is an open-end question. Hence, it is a two-tailed test. Let me rephrase this hypothesis. Like this, is men are significantly older than women? Then, that, then this question will be a close-end question. For this purpose, we will be using the one-tailed test. Let me explain you what is peer and unpeer test. Uh, a peer test is designed to compare the mean of the same group or item under two separate conditions. Let's see the example here. Uh, we, we, we have person Z, Z and his blood pressure before taking the medicine was 140 and after taking medicine it was 127. So this, this kind of uh, data is called a peer, peer data. And what is unpeer? data an uh, unpaired test compares the mean of two independent or unrelated group here is the age of men and women they are all independent 
and this kind of data is called the unpaired data we can calculate the, the z value uh, by applying this formula but uh, see that this formula is very cumbersome and very tedious and looking at the formula you can see that the calculation of the z score is fairly complicated however we can easily do this in our study Now, what are needed to run t-tests in our study? We must have hypothesis. We must write the hypothesis, null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. Uh, we, we must find out whether, whether our data is peered or unpeered. We have to decide which test we would like to run. Here is the results of our clinical studies. The drop in systolic preparation due to drug A is here and drop in systolic pressure, pressure due to our new drug is, is here. So we will be comparing uh, the difference in, in blood pressure because of the medicine and, and we will be comparing the data of uh, drug A with, with, with the data of our new drug. Put the R study first here. We have imported our data into our study and here is, here is our data for that and now we, we, we will write the command in our study to calculate the p-value. So this is our file and now we will do the t-test data from drug A we are just feeding data from drug A and, 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 and from our new drug and then there is a command of variance equal and then t then we just have to click here to get the p-value. The p-value is 0 0.01832 which is less than 0 0.05 which shows that we, we, we had to reject the null hypothesis and approve the alternate hypothesis. Now we want to find out which mean is greater. Mean from new drug or, or, or mean from our marketed drug. We have to use another command for that we are just pasting here and now we will apply we, we will apply the command which is which is called alternative command and we want to find out which one is greater so we will apply the command of greater here is the p value which which is 0 0.00916 which is quite low than 0 0.05 that means uh, mean of uh, our new drug is, is greater than the mean of uh, the marketed drug I will explain you more in detail in my next slide now here is the value of P we got it from our R study uh, I just want to tell you here that uh, you can uh, download this R study program free from internet. So, for the first test, we just wanted to compare whether there is difference in our data or not. Here, the p-value uh, was 0 0.01832. That means it, it is it, it is less than 0 0.05. So, we are rejecting the null hypothesis and approving the alternate hypothesis. That, 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 that is, that there is a difference. Uh, significant difference between uh, these two data now we want to know which data is greater which mean uh, mean uh, of, 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 of data is greater for that uh, we have applied this uh, command alternate greater and, and and we got this value uh, p value 0 0.00916 that means uh, 
it is less than 0 0.05 so we ha we will be rejecting the null hypothesis and approving the alternate hypothesis because the value p value is uh, less than 0 0.05 and and, and in, in this case we will uh, the mean of our new drug is more than the mean of the marketed drug now how to uh, conclude and uh, how to conclude the test results of our in our studies uh, p value of unpaired uh, now p value unpaired two tail tests uh, our, our p value was uh, 0 0.01832 which is less than 0 0.05 as p value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis that is m mu 1 is not equal to mu 2 and accept and approve the alternate hypothesis that is mu 1 is not equal to mu 2 in conclusion we will write that there is a significant difference in efficacy of two drugs marketed drug and newly developed drug now uh, we got our p value in our study uh, for uh, for unpaired one tail test 0 0.00916 sp value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis and accept and approve the alternate hypothesis as 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 as, as in, our, in our r study we applied command alternate greater hence in this case uh, mu1 is less than mu2 in conclusion, we will write that the newly developed drug has better in efficacy when compared with the marketed drug. Thank you very much.